Issues. It's the California Insider from the APOC Times. Theo Makarami tackles the issues driving politics, the economy, and the culture of California. Sundays at 8 on 560 KSFO. This is Chris Dolan. And I'm Vanessa Denniston, senior attorney from the Dolan Law Firm. Chris, what's with all these out-of-town personal injury firms coming into the Bay Area with these catchy jingles and funny names? Unlike the Dolan Law Firm, most of these firms are from out of state or in LA. The Dolan Law Firm is headquartered right here in San Francisco, going on 30 years. We live here, we work here, we, we win here. here. The Dolan Law Firm, we're the best lawyers we hope you'll never need. DolanLawFirm.com Folks, Mark Levin here with an important message about your financial future. Gold has been on a tear lately, with prices reaching record levels. One big reason for that is the ballooning national debt. Make no mistake, this is a national crisis on an unprecedented scale. But it also represents a significant opportunity for investors. That's why I encourage you to join me for the upcoming Everlasting Wealth Summit this week. It's 100% free to sign up. Just call my friends at Advantage Gold. Call them at 800 900 8000 right now. Tell them you want to register for the Everlasting Wealth Summit. Join the summit Thursday and dive deeper into the current economic landscape and strategies for trying to protect and grow your wealth with gold and silver. Trust me, it's a lot more complicated than you might think. This online event is free, free to attend, but spots are limited. Call 800 900 8000 to secure your spot right now. And be sure to mention my name, Mark Levin. That's 800 900 8000. Performance may vary. You should always consult your financial tax professionals. There's other examples that were given by Justice Alito, and I'm telling you right now, there's no question in my mind that the government of the United States of America knows that it is complete and utter BS to use Sarbanes-Oxley to go after people that were in the Capitol on January 6th. I'm not talking about people that smashed windows or, or, or broke any property or anything like this. I'm talking about people that were in the building under the guise of they were there to disrupt an official proceeding. And the court kept turning around and bringing up all these other examples, like Justice Sammy Coney Barrett asking the question, what happens if all these protests yesterday, you had members of Congress in those cars, they couldn't get to vote, or you had mayors, or city council people, where does, it, where does it end? Where does it stop? And there's no answer. They can't answer that. Because they want this to be used one time, and one time only, and that's for January 16th. That's for anybody who was in the Capitol, or anybody who went near the Capitol, to charge them with this crime of obstructing an official proceeding. This law was passed with the intent of dealing with and closing a loophole around companies that destroyed financial documents. It had nothing to do with prosecuting people for exercising their free speech right. And sometimes you are going to disrupt official proceedings with your free speech right. Trust me, I'm in Philadelphia constantly. I see roads shut down for protesters. Constantly happens. And you know what? The police are there to protect the, uh, the, the, the protesters, to make sure their First Amendment rights are followed. So give me a break. This is the federal government trying to weaponize this statute against Trump supporters. Bottom line, and it's an outrageous, overzealous prosecution. I'll have more on this for you in hour number two of the Mark Levin Show with me, Rich Zioli, straight ahead. <laughs> Hey guys, at Prime Male Medical, their mission is to provide you with the medical care you need to improve your ED, low T, and incontinence. With years dedicated to improving the lifestyle of their patients in the Bay Area, Prime Male Medical strives to improve your love life and overall health. Listen to Dr. Robert Rowley. We have virtually every medication known to man to help men. We specialize in acoustic wave therapy, single blockages which bypass the digestive system, making them work faster and more effectively, injectable medications, and testosterone treatment for those patients who need it. Impotence problems can be treated in just one visit. Why wait? Don't lose hope. Call now. Get a PSA test, testosterone test, Doppler ultrasound, and a full year of free visits for just $99. Call 415-761-4037. That's 415-761-4037. 
Call now, 415-761-4037, or go to primemailmedical.com. Well, I'm 67 years old. I lost 71 pounds. I was a size 46 pan two years ago, and I've been taking it, and I'm a size 36 pan. Congratulations, Pat, on losing 71 pounds and 10 inches off your waistline. Now listen to Brian's results. My sleeping is better. My joint pains are much better, and the weight loss is coming along. I'm about 13 to 14 pounds lighter. It has reduced my sugar cravings big time. Sugar cravings and uh, reduced joint pains, and those two are big time. Outstanding results, Brian. Guys, since 2004, men have chosen Andro 400 for one reason. Results. Andro 400 can help you safely lose belly fat, reduce joint pain, gain energy, and boost your testosterone. We guarantee it. Start today and get free shipping on any order. Go to andro400.com for more true testimonials, before and after photos, and special discounts. Only available on andro400.com. andro400.com. Access to legal advocacy is critical to ensuring that Bay Area residents living in poverty can assert their rights to create stability for themselves and their families. To help, visit baylegal.org. Talk Radio 560 KSO. President Trump as Trump gets in hot water with the judge after muttering during a jury selection and over social media posts he made last week. Today, Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg filed a motion requesting the court hold Trump in criminal contempt on allegations the former president violated a gag order. Bragg requested a $3,000 fine and possible jail time for Trump after three social media posts where Trump disparaged witnesses Michael Cohen and Stormy Daniels. Judge Mershon will rule on potential sanctions related to a possible gag order violation next Tuesday. Bragg accuses Trump of funneling payments to Daniels through Cohen, his former lawyer, and misrepresenting those payments as legal expenses. Fox is named Foy in New York. Jury selection will resume Thursday with opening statements expected to start next week. House managers have delivered two articles of impeachment against the Homeland Security Secretary. Alejandro and Mayorkas breached the public trust by knowingly making false statements to Congress and the American people. Tennessee Republican Mark Green. Republicans claim Mayorkas refused to enforce immigration laws. The leaders of four House committees and one subcommittee say they backed the plan by Speaker Mike Johnson to pass bills that would provide security assistance for Israel, Ukraine, and Taiwan this week. White House National Security Communications Advisor John Kirby says how should be taking up the bill already passed in the Senate. We don't support a standalone bill that only funds Israel because Ukraine needs munitions too. Now look, I think we still have to see the Speaker's proposal in more detail. Uh, the important thing is that the House moves this week. This is Israel vows to retaliate against Iran after Tehran's drone and missile attack on Saturday. America is listening to Fox News.